Hi, my name is Phil. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Mesa Troll Tips and Tricks. In this video, we're going to learn about grooving, specifically grooving the OD of a part. This is the workpiece right here. It's basically a three belt pulley, and I'll show you how to machine this using only two lines of code. So, let's get started. All right, here's our sample workpiece that we're gonna start programming. This is gonna be a series of grooves. These are basically pulley grooves in the outside diameter of the part. So let's get started making it now. So let's go to the left button, program, program file, and we're gonna select a work number that is not listed here. We're gonna select work number 24. So go back to program, work number, Two, four, enter, and it couldn't find it. If it's a new program, push the program button. Mazatrol or EIA? We're going with Mazatrol. This is workpiece material is aluminum. Maximum outside diameter workpiece is 3.25 inches. Inside diameter is zero. Workpiece length is three inches. Max spindle RPM limit, 2,000 RPM for the whole program. Finish allowance on X. This is for the roughing tools on turning, facing, and boring. This is not the groove tool, but we still need to put it in for the other processes. So give me 10 thousandths on X, 5 thousandths on Z, and stock removal of work face. We're gonna take off 50 thousandths. And then the first thing we're doing is turn on the coolant. Next thing we're gonna do is edge the part, auto, Tool 4, 3.25.05, 7, far out, 3.25, auto, tool 4, tool 4, linear, 30 thousandths chamfer, 3.2, 2 inches back, 7, and shape in. And right button, figure check. All right, so there's our face and there's our OD. Go back to program. So now what we're gonna do is do the grooves. So we're pushing groove and we're using open geometry, so go out. And now we have a trapezoid groove or a straight groove. The number one trapezoid groove, it can make straight grooves as well. It'll have a radius and a chamfer at the top or a radius of the chamfer at the bottom. Groove number zero is only a straight plunge groove, but it can actually plunge in on an angle. Most of the time we're gonna select number one. The number of grooves, this is asking us how many grooves we have on this workpiece. We're going to tell it there's three grooves. The grooving pitch. This is the distance from one groove to the next. From this corner to this corner is 500 thousandths. And the width of the groove. The width of the groove in this case is 400 thousandths wide. If we only were doing one groove, we would say number of grooves one and leave the pitch at zero. But in this case, we're using three grooves. Finish allowance, this is the finish allowance that this roughing groove is gonna leave on the finish pass for the grooving process. I'm gonna leave five thousandths, and then I'm gonna hit auto on the surface speed I'm going to kick up the rougher and kick up the feed rate. Depth of cut, this is a pecking depth of cut. So when it's grooving, it's going to groove, break the chip, come back and break the chip. If you did not want to groove uh, a chip break on the groove, you would select the depth of cut larger than the total depth of the groove. Uh, roughing tool, we're going to 
go to the tool data screen and we're going to select the groove out with number six go back to program six offset one finish it with six offset number one all right starting corner i'm going to give it a ten thousandths chamfer starting point on x this is our starting diameter from the previous turning process we just did is 3.2 inches starting point on Z it's going to be from the zero face to the front edge of the group and it's going to be 200 thousandths final point on X is going to be 2.5 inches and the final point on Z now if you notice, the final point on Z, this corner down here, is not dimensioned. So what we need to do is do some trigonometry in the machine to get that, that point. So what we're going to do is put the question mark in here. The final corner is this radius down here. I'm going to leave it as the tool nose radius of 8 thousandths, so I'm going to leave it I'm not going to put anything in here. And the taper angle. So here's the taper angle from the horizontal plane down is 70 degrees for this type of angle, for this groove. So the taper angle on grooves is a negative value because it's cutting down into the stock. So minus 70 degrees and then a surface roughness of 7. So right button and then push calculate. And now we have the Z position for this corner right here. So down arrow, end, and we are done programming the grooves. This two line process programmed three of those grooves, roughing and finishing. So let's go to the right button, figure check. And there's the grooves. So now let's run the, the toolpath check. So go back to program, go to check, and then check continue. So it's facing the end of the part, finishes the face, roughs the outside, Finishes the outside, toolpath path erase. And now it's grooving it, and this is showing from the groove tool radius on the left side where we would probe that grooving tool, which is why it leaves an area behind here that's not cut, because that's the width of the groove tool. All right, tool path erase. Now it's finishing all the grooves one by one. And we are done programming this part. So let's come up here and let's set the work shift. Alright, let's set the work shift. Let's turn the spindle on. at 300 RPM. All right. And stop. All right, come over here to the left button, go to program, go to program file, arrow down, push Z offset teach, 0 0.05, we're 50 thousandths in front of where my zero is gonna be. And we just taught the workshop. So now push the left button, go to position, go to auto, Go to work number, 
24 and the Z is at 25 or 50 thousandths. And on the tray screen, we can see the turning tool. All right, let's go to auto. Turn on the coolant and hit cycle start. Now it's finishing the face. Rough COD. And now it's finishing the OD. All right, here comes the grooming tool. Just hit feed hold and now we're doing the finish pass. We are done. A little bit of a stringy chip going on. There's our part. If you like what you see, go down and hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell so you get notified of any future videos we got coming out. Thanks and keep watching.